Did you purchase your home in the last three or four years with a low down payment? And as a result, you probably got PMI. Specifically, if you put less than 20% down, you probably ended up with PMI built into your mortgage payment. Easy thing to do is to contact me and we can review the numbers together. But here's what we're gonna look at. If you have 20% equity in your house as a result of appreciation, because home values have been skyrocketing, so if you have 20% equity in your home and you have a low interest rate and it doesn't make sense to refinance right now, you can still get rid of the PMI. The rules for having it removed because of appreciation is that number one, you have to have at least 20% equity in the property and you have to prove it with an appraisal. The loan servicer will tell you what kind of appraisal you need to get that to prove the value. In addition to that, you cannot have a second mortgage on your property. So no home equity line of credit, no second mortgage, no additional liens against your property. So you have to have clear title with the exception of the first mortgage. And then number three, you have to have made your payments on time. Specifically, you have to be at least current on your mortgage as a, at a bare minimum. The other way it'll come off just automatically without you even requesting it in writing is when your equity position gets to 22%, so you're at 78% loan to value. Uh, so 78% of the loan relative to the original value when you bought it or refinanced it, the loan servicer will automatically remove the PMI. This does not apply to you if you have an FHA or a VA loan. But with the equity that we've built up in the last couple of years, it's very likely that you're at, uh, you have that 20% equity position you need to save money.